Well, life OS is the term we give to the whole software component of our life forms. You may know the story of stone soup. Uh, this uh, hungry person says, uh, I, I really want some soup. They get a, a big pot and they put water in it and they just go around telling everyone, hey, let, let, let's have some soup. And it's a platform not just for us, but for users as well. And some other people come in and put some vegetables and other people come in and put something else and pretty soon you have a very, very rich broth. Wow. Our dream is to provide all of this power for the people out in the world, for you. Check that out. Now, all of you watching eventually will we'll be adding to that stone soup. It's like a baby animal and a human. The simplest way might be you can make a new sound. <laughs> put it on an SD card, put it in, and it's going to override a sound that's already built in the Clio. <laughs> on the next level, you might want to change his behavior completely. I can see Clio being used for people who are storytellers, who want to just create personalities, create environments, have herds of Clios that interact with each other in new and interesting ways. What better way to evolve a platform, to evolve a life form, than to open up the architecture to all of you out there? Oh, look at that, it's so cute! Wow. You've got a number of different drives which compete for expression. When you touch under Pleo's chin, does he nuzzle with you? Or does he think it's ticklish? Or does he reject it because he's hungry? If you're treating him very well, you'll get happy. If you treat him very poorly, you will get angry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't like that one. Oh no, he's not uh, Open architecture gives us tremendous amount of content and input that we wouldn't otherwise have. What is it, Bo? If in the end, all we've done is created a platform for creativity, then, then we die happy. <laughs>